Hello friends, in this video we will see about inter-process communication. So we all know there are multiple process executing in the CPU and there will be like a parent process, child process also executing in the CPU or in the processor. It is very important to communicate message from one like a different independent process or cooperating process to each other. The reasons for Co like cooperating process can affect the affect or affected by other process including shared data. Reasons for cooperating process is like information sharing is that computation speed up, modularity, convenience and so on. So cooperating process are the process which are like interrelated with other process like a process which is related with other process for information sharing and to complete the processing so this tends or this requires inter-process communication this inter-process communication is done with two modules one is by sharing the memory or by message passing so communication module by by message pass, passing and by shared memory so here we can see how message passing technique is working so first diagram shows how message passing is done there will be a message queue which contains all the messages from the process. So the process will send the message with the process ID and the message in the message queue the process which requires message can search and get the message based on process ID. So if the message is sent by A the process ID of that message will have when the process A is ID and if the B requires that message it can be shared and then in the shared memory we have a shared memory like if two process is utilizing one memory or if it is using a data from each process then a block of memory is allocated between two process and the address for the block of memory is given for process A and process B which in turn process A and B can access a free space or access a shared memory space in the main memory to get the memory or to get the messages or the shared data between this. It's like if a process A needs to send data to process B it has to send to message queue and process B can get it from here. This is how message passing technique happens in the shared memory. If a process A is having data stored in shared memory, that data can be accessed between both the process. Like shared memory can be accessed between both the process, so they can communicate between each other. Next, we have cooperating process which are independent, like the process which are independent and which are Cooperating. Independent process cannot affect or affected by execution of another process like because the process which is independent does not share any memory or does not share any resources with other process so they can execute by themselves and which is not affected by other process or will not affect others process execution but cooperating process will affect others process execution because it is sharing the information, it is sharing the resources. Advantages of cooperative processing is information can be stored, computation can be speed up, modularity and convenience. Next, we have a technique for sending the data like message queue. Using this message queue, we can share the data between two or three processes which are under communicating process so queue of messages attached to a link implement attached to a link and stored in a buffer so implementation of buffering can be done with three types one is zero capacity buffer bounded capacity and unbounded capacity since the shared data is stored for smaller period of time we go for a shorter storage version of memory called buffering. In zero capacity buffer, there is no buffer size defined, no messages are queued. The sender must wait for receiver and re receiver will be 
till the receiver sends the data as soon as receiver uh, sorry sender sends the data receiver will read it there will be any storage space where the message is sent in bounded capacity, uh, bounded capacity buffer the buffer size is defined with a set of length the n number of messages can be sent by sender at once once the buffer is full the uh, uh, receiver can read the data from bounded buffer if it is unbounded buffer the length of the buffer is infinite so that sender never waits for the receiver to read the buffer in bounded once the buffer is full the sender should wait until the buffer is completely copied by the receiver next we have producer consumer problem for both bounded and unbounded buffer so in the producer consumer problem consider there is a producer who constantly produces data like who is the sender of a message and consumer is one who constantly receives or consumes the data if we go for unbounded buffer place no particular like the buffer size has no limit then the consumer can consume the data as producer pleases but if you go for bounded buffer then there is a fixed size of buffer where the producer should wait until the consumer completely receives the data so if we see the bounded buffer shared memory solution for it define buffer size as 10 so the buffer size is defined as 10 here the size of the buffer will be 10 type the structure so the structure of buffer is defined item item buffer buffer size item in and out is set as 0 at the beginning once the buffer size and input output data is set then we will see how producer and consumer are responsible for reading the data and writing the data so first the producer will check for true producer and produces an item in next produced while in value is increased and and buffer and modulated with buffer size of out buffer in next buffer produced in is equal to in plus 1 so if we have a buffer size of 10 the producer will check while true the if true while in plus 1 divide by buffer size buffer size is 10 so if the in value in which is equal to 10 so 10 plus 1 which is equal to 11 out out is then if this is true if the value is 1 then it becomes true till this till the value is true do nothing but if the value is false if it is like buffer size let's consider it is 0 plus 1 then one more out size is 1 will become 0 till then you have to do nothing once the buffer value becomes 0 then buffer in is equal to you can produce next so the values can be produced next if the value of buffer is 0 in is equal to in plus 1 and buffer size as soon as buffer is produced and like the producer produces the data in value will be updated so while coming to consumer once the value is updated it will come to consumer if sorry while true while in is equal to out where the value of in and out are 
value of in and out are zero, then do nothing. If the value of in is less than out, then copy the data from out to next consume and reduce the value of or reduce the value of buffer cells. Once the consumer consumes the data, then it will go back to producer. So in bounded buffer problem, producer waits for the consumer to consume the data and consumer checks whether the producer completely produced the data and then consumes it. So I hope you understood the topic. Thank